All right, this will be a demonstration of the Van Dyke Brown process. This is a traditional photographic process that shares a lot of similarities to the cyanotype process, but with a couple additional steps. So similarly to cyanotype, we're gonna start off by painting our chemical onto a piece of watercolor paper. When painting it on, you're going to notice that this will look similar to cyanotype in the sense that it's the yellow undertone, but when it dries, it'll be more of a brownish color. So what we're going to do is let them dry for about 20, 30 minutes and make sure to do this in complete darkness. And while we wait for those to dry, we're gonna mix up a little bit of fixer. This process does use fixer in order to fix the latent image. Uh, which differs from the cyanotype process, but it's similar to making regular photographic prints. Just mix a one-to-one -one dilution with your fixer and some water. Then we're going to place our negative over top of the emulsion, similar to cyanotype. However, this process goes a lot faster. We're using an exposure unit for this, but you can do this outside, but only a minute inside the exposure unit because the actual silver in the process makes it go a lot faster. You're going to just pull it out and then just wash it in some regular room temperature water. And you should notice that it starts to darken to almost like a yellowish tone. And once you've gotten it to that point, you want to pull it out and put it into your fixer and just let it sit there for a little bit until it gets the kind of classic Van Dyke brown color. Once it has reached that tone, just pull it out and let it dry and you should be all finished and your print should be ready for display.